Miles B. Carpenter is considered the premier folk artist in this country today. His work compares favorably with some of the best of the 17th and 18th century, but the relevance of his art can be seen as much in the kind of person he is, just plain good folk. At 92, the Waverly native doesn't consider himself famous, although his work is hailed all over the country by art critics for its originality. This is supposed to be the devil and the witch. And the devil got fresh with the witch. So the witch said, uh, get out of here, devil. If you don't get out of here, I'm going to hit you over the head. <laughs> this I made right right out of my head. I didn't have no nothing to copy by. As one of the most important unschooled artists living today, Carpenter interprets life's simplicity. Her name is Lena Wood. She is lean and she's made out of wood. And I made her about three years ago and uh, I kept her in, in my, on my back porch for uh, some time, and then later I decided that I was going to put her in my automobile on, on the front seat next to me. But she couldn't sit on the pot in the automobile, and she is supposed to be just about ready to retire, to go to bed. And she, th then she decided, I believe I'll pick up a magazine and, and sit on the toilet and read a little while. His brilliant and subtle interpretations of our culture are best seen in his masterpiece, The Girl and the Greyhound, which could fetch $15,000 if it were for sale. But this man, this 19th century man who swaps jokes with the president, also gives him advice. Uh, the folks at home told me to tell you that you had everything going well. But please, Mr. President, don't let it go to question mark, I said. What did you uh, the president looked at me and laughed. He said, uh, you didn't finish it. You should have set to hell. <laughs> <laughs> In Newport News, I'm Kathleen Bachman, The Daily News.